Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby. Robin will be here in just a minute. And it is the 24th of March, and it is the four feast of the Annunciation. Yes, tomorrow is the Annunciation. Well, <coughs> excuse me, the troparian for today. Today, the beginning of universal joy moves us to sing the procession, profestal, prefestal, prefestal hymn. For Gabriel is coming and will cry to her, Rejoice, O Virgin, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, let's say good morning to Robin. Good morning, Robin. Oh. Oh. People can't hear you. Did I? Let me see if I. I uh, know it's not you. I think it's me. Let me just do this here. Double check your settings. No? It's not that. Well, what is going on here? Audio imp. No, it's you. No, it's not you. Oh, I. No. I got, I got audio input. I don't know what's going on. According to my thing here, nobody can hear you but me. Well, let's go here. What has changed overnight? Uh, let me look here. Uh, yeah. Monitor and output. Yeah. Well, overnight, some of our settings have changed, it appears. I don't know what. Let me double check here. Well, oh, the wonders, the wonders, the wonders of modern communications. Oh, got it. There we go. Bad setting that I did, not my software. Okay, now people can hear you. Say good morning. Good morning. Great. Well, we have a busy, busy morning this morning, folks. Um, we have our food pantry tomorrow. I have to leave here, pick up the bread, bring it to church, go to uh, our, the, our grocery, pick up the food, bring that to church. I have to go to the barn and clean up the barn and then bring my wife to a... Uh, hairdresser's appointment so busy day this morning but yours is much quieter and good news you're going to bring your mother carolyn uh this weekend out and she's going to be on that little racetrack in the park with her scooter that's right that's right <laughs> that's great no that's great let me see here well jonathan nichols asked to pray for uh dan and charlotte dan fell and broke his hip He's in his 70s, so that's really bad news. So, Lord, we pray we pray for Dan, that you heal him, Lord. Heal that broken hip. And we pray for his, for his wife, Charlotte. We pray for her, Lord. She's got to be very, very anxious and upset. We pray that you give her your peace. Amen. There's Arthur from Fadville. Good morning. And let me see. Okay, kind of quiet over here on Facebook. Well... Would you start us off with our scriptures this morning? Absolutely. We have got Isaiah 29, verses 13 through 23, and then Genesis 12, 1 through 7. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So the Lord said, These people draw near to me and honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me and they worship me in vain teaching the commandments and doctrines of men. Therefore behold, I will proceed to remove this people and I shall remove them. I shall destroy the wisdom of the wise and hide the understanding of the intelligent. 
Woe to those who deepen their counsel, but not through the Lord. Woe to those who take counsel in secret and whose works are in darkness. They say, who sees us and who knows us or what we do? Shall you not be considered as the clay of the potter? Shall what is molded of clay say to him who molded it, you did not create me? Or shall the work say to him who made it, you did not make me wisely? And it is not yet a very little while until Lebanon shall be changed like Mount Carmel, and Mount Carmel will be considered a forest. In that day the deaf shall hear the words of the book, the eyes of those in darkness in a fog shall see. The poor also shall rejoice exceedingly in gladness because of the Lord and the hopeless among men shall be filled with gladness. The lawless man has come to an end and the arrogant man has perished. Those who act lawlessly in malice are utterly destroyed as well as those who cause men to sin in word. They shall make all who condemn at the gates an offense, because they turned aside the righteous man with wrongdoing. Therefore the Lord says this concerning the house of Jacob, whom he set apart out of Abraham. Now Jacob shall not be ashamed, nor shall Israel now change his countenance. But when their children shall see my works, they shall sanctify my name for my name's sake, and shall will sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, and fear the God of Israel. And Genesis 12, 1 through 7. Now the Lord said to Abram, Get out of your country and come from your kindred, and from your father's house to a land I will show you. And I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. And in all the tribes of the earth shall be blessed. Then Abram departed as the Lord said to him, and Lot went with him. Now Abram was 75 years old when he took departed from Haram. So Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions, and every soul they acquired in Haran, and they departed for the land of Canaan. Thus they came to the land of Canaan. Abraham passed through the land to the place of Shechem, as far as the oak of Moreh. And the Canaanites were then in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your seed I will give this land. And there Abram built an altar to the Lord who appeared to him. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you. Now, let's say good morning to Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barb. And Barb, we've been praying for uh, Barb to get a, a ride to the... Uh, doctor's appointment this morning and she's got it thank you lord for that and uh let me see we pray for her health and a healing for her amen there's karen kalanovich good morning steve and the sweet prayer family and karen's fibromyalgia has been acting up the lord we pray we pray that you bring her back to good health amen there's joanne manaski down there in phoenix good morning uh joanne and uh no audio is anybody, my, says the audio is going out, so if you're having an audio problem, let me know. Who's, okay. Uh, Joanne Manaski, good morning, and thank you, Joanne, for uh, contributing to our food pantry at St. Michael's. Thank you so much, and if anybody else wants to contribute, there's a GoFundMe link at the top of the, uh, at the top of the um, comment section. Okay. Okay, so everybody can hear us. Um, let me see. Karen Kalanovich, please pray for my friend Lynette. She's not well, and I'm taking her to the doctor at 11 a.m. 
Pray for doctor to be able to find out what's wrong. She especially is concerned because she's the only one to take care of her children, Isaac and Ali. And Lord, we know that that, that family also has other problems. So Lord, we pray for Lynette. We pray that you bring her back to good health. We pray to your Lord that uh, she can take care of uh, Isaac and Ali. And we pray for that, I know. We pray for that, Lord, amen. And everybody can hear us, so there's no problem. Yes. And let me see. Over here. Up, 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 up. There we go. Jumped out of Jonathan Nichols. Good morning, everyone. And uh, Joyce Marie, created me a clean heart, oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Alioni Shanera, Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Amen. There, she got her ministry in there, didn't she? And Earl and Vicky from Nashville, Tennessee. Violetta, good morning. Juliet Sabunya from Boston, Massachusetts, good morning. Amber Tremaine, Snohomish, Washington. And uh, Amber says, good morning, everyone. We have to hear Robin and Pippin, or it's just not the same. Yeah, well, we can hear them now. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa Itzel from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Good morning to you. Arthur Bethea, good morning. From Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's from uh, St. Nicholas Parish. Saint An uh, Father Andrew, I made him a saint there for a minute. Father Andrew is their priest. Good morning, Arthur. Praying for you and St. Nicholas. Joseph Khalil, with his ministry, one of them. And he has a, a verse from Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 31. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not forsake you, nor destroy you. Amen. And Amber, praying for Dan and Charlotte. Lord, we ask healing for Dan, physical strength for Charlotte, to be able to care for him, your peace and steadfast love in abundance every day. And there's Murray from Dublin, Ireland. Good morning to you. And Amber wants to know, how are those injured horses? Well, we've got... Two of them on the uh, sick list or the disabled list right now. They've got stitches, both stitched up from the uh, uh, vet, the veterinarian. So we've had the veterinarian there twice this week. <laughs> and uh, let me see. Yep, it was separate accidents too. So, you know, there's an old saying, if the horse can get in trouble and hurt itself, it'll find a way. It'll find a way. Yes, so. But they're doing okay. They're doing okay. They're in their stalls on stall rest. So I have to clean up around them. You know, in the morning, the person who runs the barn, who owns the barn, she has to do the vet stuff, you know, redress the uh, wounds and make sure they're okay. So she runs out of time to do her stuff. So I, I'm doing her normal stuff while she, so as well as my own. So right now it's kind of busy down at the barn for me anyway. So, let me see. And Barb says, I still cannot hear them. I did after Steve changed the setting, and then they both cut out. Hmm. Well, everyone else can, everyone else can hear us, so there, there we go. So, Barb, probably your settings, my guess. Now, Robin, would you lead us in prayer this morning? Absolutely. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter in the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having risen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity. Because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds. Light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, 
but in thy love towards mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. And every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say, when unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow <coughs> to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Well, folks, uh, I have to leave you now. But we'll see you again tonight. Kurt and I will be back here to this evening for the Gospel Minute Live. And uh, so Robin is going to remind us. Robin, you're going to remind us. Two, Two things. things. God loves us. He really, really, really does. And we love you. We love each other. We really, really, really do. Amen. So until tonight. May God bless us all and have a great day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. See you tonight, folks. Bye-bye. And thank you, Robin. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto God.